Every journey begins with a single step, and ours today will take us through the fascinating world of emotional intelligence. But before we dive in, we want to extend a warm welcome to all our viewers. Whether you're new to our channel or a regular visitor, we're glad to have you here at Dr. Chris's Key to the Manager's Mindset. I will be your guide on this enlightening journey to enrich our personal relationships through emotional intelligence. Are you ready to unlock the potential of your relationships? Are you prepared to understand your partners better, manage conflicts effectively, and communicate more efficiently? Join us in this insightful video as we unpack the concept of emotional intelligence and reveal its profound relevance in our personal interactions. Let's embark on this journey together and discover how emotional intelligence can transform our relationships into a journey of deeper connection, mutual understanding, and shared growth. Welcome to a session where we delve into the realm of emotional intelligence in our personal relationships. Today, we're going to unpack the concept of emotional intelligence, or EI, and explore its profound relevance in our personal interactions. Imagine emotional intelligence as a compass, guiding us through the complex landscape of human emotions. It's a set of skills that helps us recognize, understand, and manage our own emotions, as well as those of others. It's about being aware of how our feelings can influence our thoughts and actions, and how this in turn can affect the people around us. In the context of personal relationships, EI becomes even more crucial. It's the golden thread that weaves together understanding, empathy, and effective communication, forming the fabric of meaningful connections. With high EI, we're better equipped to navigate the ebb and flow of our relationships, to manage conflicts, to understand our partners, and to express ourselves clearly and respectfully. The benefits of high EI are far-reaching. It allows us to understand the complexities of our interpersonal dynamics better. It helps us to tune in to the emotional cues of our partners, fostering a deeper sense of empathy and understanding. It equips us to manage our reactions in times of conflict, promoting healthier, more constructive conversations. And it enhances our communication skills, enabling us to express our feelings and needs in a way that's clear, respectful, and empathetic. Emotional intelligence isn't just a concept, it's a skill set, a toolkit, if you will, that can be developed and honed over time. By improving our EI, we can enhance our relationships, making them more fulfilling, more authentic, and more resilient. So, why not explore this further and see how it can enhance our relationships? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the world of emotional intelligence and discover how it can transform our personal relationships into a journey of deeper connection, mutual understanding, and shared growth. Understanding emotional intelligence is like having a secret key to unlock the complexities of our relationships. So what is emotional intelligence? At its core, emotional intelligence, often abbreviated as EI, is the ability to recognize, understand, and manage our own emotions while also being able to recognize, understand, and influence the emotions of others. It's like a navigational tool that guides us through the intricate labyrinth of human emotions helping us to build and maintain healthier, happier relationships. Now let's break down the components of emotional intelligence. There are five crucial elements, self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. Each of these elements plays a pivotal role in our relationships and together they form the bedrock of emotional intelligence. Firstly, self-awareness. This is the cornerstone of emotional intelligence. It's about recognizing and understanding our own emotions. When we're self-aware, we can identify our emotional triggers, understand what makes us tick, and recognize how our emotions can affect those around us. In the context of relationships, self-awareness enables us to understand why we react the way we do, which in turn can help us to manage our responses more effectively. Next is self-regulation. This is about controlling or redirecting our disruptive emotions and impulses. It's about knowing when to express our emotions and when to hold back. It's also about taking responsibility for our actions. In a relationship, self-regulation can prevent minor disagreements from escalating into full-blown arguments. It's the difference between reacting impulsively and responding thoughtfully. Motivation is the third component of emotional intelligence. It's about being driven to achieve for the sake of achievement. It's not about chasing external rewards or recognition, but about setting our own internal goals and striving to fulfill them. In our relationships, motivation can drive us to work towards a healthier, more fulfilling partnership. Then, we have empathy. It's the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. Empathy is not just about sympathizing with someone's situation, 
but about truly understanding their emotions, their perspective, and their experience. Empathy allows us to connect with our partners on a deeper level, enabling us to offer genuine support and understanding when they need it most. Finally, social skills. This element of emotional intelligence is about managing relationships and building networks, and about finding common ground and building rapport. Good social skills can help us to communicate more effectively, to listen actively, and to express ourselves clearly and respectfully. In a relationship, good social skills can keep the lines of communication open, ensuring that both partners feel heard and understood. Now you might be wondering, how do these components play a role in forming and maintaining healthy relationships? Well, consider this. Relationships are all about understanding and managing emotions, both our own and those of our partner. Emotional intelligence equips us to do just that. It empowers us to understand our own emotional responses, to regulate our emotions in the heat of the moment, to empathize with our partner's feelings, and to communicate effectively and respectfully. In a nutshell, emotional intelligence is the glue that holds a relationship together. It's the key to understanding and managing the complex dynamics that are at play in any relationship. It's about being aware of our own emotions and those of our partner, about navigating conflicts and disagreements with grace and understanding, and about building a deep, lasting emotional connection. With these components in mind, we can better navigate our personal relationships. So let's explore further and delve into the role of emotional intelligence in understanding your partner. Imagine being able to truly understand your partner's feelings and perspectives. That's the magic of EI. Welcome to the world of emotional intelligence or EI, a world where we can deepen our understanding of others and ourselves. One of the key components of EI is empathy, a powerful tool that enables us to comprehend our partner's feelings and perspectives. But what exactly is empathy? It's the ability to step into someone else's shoes, to understand their feelings and to see the world from their viewpoint. It's about being present, being open, and being willing to experience the world as they do. So how do we practice empathy in our relationships? Well, one key strategy is active listening. This means fully focusing on your partner, avoiding distractions, and responding thoughtfully to what they're saying. It's not just about hearing the words they're saying, but also understanding the emotions behind those words. When we actively listen, we're not just waiting for our turn to speak. We're truly engaged in the conversation and our partners can feel that engagement. Let's consider an example. Your partner comes home from work looking exhausted and frustrated. Instead of jumping to solutions or sharing your own experiences, you might say, you seem really tired and upset. Do you wanna talk about what happened? This response shows that you've noticed their emotional state and that you're open to hearing about their experiences. It's a powerful way to show empathy and to deepen your understanding of your partner's perspective. But empathy and active listening aren't just about verbal communication. They also involve recognizing and interpreting nonverbal cues. These might include body language, facial expressions, tone of voice, or even the pace of speech. For instance, if your partner is speaking quickly and their voice is shaking, they might be feeling anxious or upset. By noticing these cues, you can gain insight into their emotional state and respond appropriately. Of course, recognizing these cues takes practice. It's not something that comes naturally to everyone and that's okay. The key is to be patient with yourself and to keep trying. Over time, you'll get better at picking up on these subtle signals and your understanding of your partner will deepen. Another powerful strategy for understanding your partner is asking open-ended questions. These are questions that can't be answered with a simple yes or no. They encourage dialogue and allow your partner to express their thoughts and feelings in a more comprehensive way. For example, Instead of asking, are you upset? You might ask, can you tell me more about what's troubling you? This kind of question shows that you're genuinely interested in understanding their perspective and it can lead to more meaningful conversations. Remember, it's not about prying or trying to fix your partner's problems. It's about creating a safe space where they can express themselves freely, knowing that they're being heard and understood. And when we feel understood, we feel closer to our partners and our relationships become stronger and more fulfilling. So to sum up, empathy and active listening are key to understanding your partner's feelings and perspectives. Recognizing and interpreting nonverbal cues can provide valuable insights into their emotional state. And asking open-ended questions can encourage dialogue and deepen understanding. Each of these strategies can help us to better understand our partners, to communicate more effectively, and to build stronger, more satisfying relationships. 
With EI, we can deepen our understanding and connection with our partners. Conflict is inevitable in relationships, but managing it with emotional intelligence can turn it into an opportunity for growth. Picture this, you're in the middle of a disagreement with your partner. The atmosphere is tense, emotions are running high, and it seems like you're both talking past each other. In these situations, our initial reactions might be to either lash out or completely shut down. But what if there was another way to handle these conflicts? Enter emotional intelligence. Central to EI are the concepts of self-awareness and self-regulation, two powerful tools that can help prevent and resolve conflicts in relationships. Self-awareness is about understanding our own emotions and how they influence our thoughts, behaviors, and interactions with others. When we're self-aware, we can recognize when we're becoming upset or defensive and take steps to manage these feelings before they spiral out of control. For instance, if you find yourself getting increasingly frustrated during a disagreement, it might be helpful to take a moment to breathe and reflect on why you're feeling this way. Could it be that you're not really upset about the dishes left in the sink, but rather you're feeling overwhelmed and unsupported in other areas of your life? Self-regulation, on the other hand, is about controlling our emotional responses. It's about choosing how we express our feelings rather than simply reacting on impulse. This doesn't mean suppressing our emotions, but rather expressing them in a way that is constructive and respectful. So instead of raising your voice or resorting to harsh words, you might say, I'm feeling really overwhelmed right now and I could use some help around the house. Now, let's talk about strategies for staying calm and composed during disagreements. One effective technique is to practice mindful breathing. When we're stressed or upset, our breathing can become shallow and rapid. By consciously slowing down and deepening our breath, we can help calm our nervous system and regain our composure. Another strategy is to use I statements instead of you statements. For example, instead of saying, you never listen to me, you might say, I feel like I'm not being heard. This can help prevent your partner from becoming defensive and keeps the focus on your feelings and needs. The timing and setting for serious conversations is also crucial. It's not productive to bring up a sensitive topic when your partner is already stressed or distracted. Instead, choose a time when you're both calm and can give the conversation your full attention. And remember, it's okay to take a break if the conversation becomes too heated. Sometimes, a little distance can give you both the space to cool down and come back to the discussion with a clearer perspective. Lastly, let's look at some examples of constructive conflict resolution techniques. One approach is to use active listening. This means fully focusing on your partner, reflecting back what you've heard, and asking clarifying questions. It shows your partner that you're genuinely interested in understanding their perspective, rather than just waiting for your turn to speak. Another technique is to seek a win-win solution. Instead of viewing the conflict as a battle to be won, see it as a problem to be solved together. This encourages cooperation and fosters a stronger, more resilient relationship. When we apply EI in conflict situations, we transform them into bridges rather than barriers. By using emotional intelligence, we can navigate conflicts with grace and understanding, turning them into opportunities for growth and deeper connection. So the next time you find yourself in the heat of a disagreement, remember to tap into your self-awareness, practice self-regulation, and approach the situation with empathy and respect. In doing so, you'll not only resolve the conflict at hand, but also strengthen your relationship in the long run. Effective communication is the bedrock of any relationship and emotional intelligence, or EI, can significantly enhance it. Imagine trying to put together a puzzle without looking at the picture on the box. That's what communication can feel like without emotional intelligence. You're trying to piece together a message, but without the full picture, it can be challenging. Emotional intelligence plays a critical role in both verbal and nonverbal communication. It enables us to express our thoughts and feelings clearly and respectfully, creating an environment where both parties feel heard and understood. But how exactly does it do this? Let's start with verbal communication. It's not just about what we say, but how we say it. The tone of our voice can convey a multitude of emotions. You've probably heard the phrase, it's not what you said, it's how you said it. That's emotional intelligence at play. By being aware of our tone, we can ensure our words are received in the way we intend. Then there's body language. Even when we're silent, we're communicating. Our posture, facial expressions, and gestures can reveal a lot about how we're feeling. If we're not aware of these nonverbal cues, we might send mixed signals. Emotional intelligence helps us to be more conscious of our body language and align it with our verbal communication for a clearer message. 
but communication is a two-way street. It's not just about expressing ourselves, but also understanding others. This is where active listening comes in. Active listening is the process of fully focusing, understanding, responding, and then remembering what is being said. It's about being present and engaged, showing empathy and understanding. Now you might be wondering, how can we put all this into practice? Here are some practical tips for enhancing communication through emotional intelligence. First, practice mindfulness. This means being present in the moment, being aware of your emotions and the emotions of others. When you're mindful, you're better able to regulate your emotions and respond in a thoughtful, respectful manner. Second, work on your active listening skills. This means not just hearing the words, but understanding the feelings behind them. Reflect back what you've heard to show you understand and ask open-ended questions to encourage further discussion. Third, pay attention to nonverbal cues, both yours and others. If you notice your partner crossing their arms or avoiding eye contact, they might be feeling defensive or uncomfortable. Likewise, if you find yourself doing the same, take a moment to check in with your feelings. Fourth, express your feelings and needs clearly and respectfully. Use I statements, such as I feel or I need, to communicate your emotions without blaming or criticizing the other person. Finally, remember that emotional intelligence is a skill. Like any skill, it takes time to develop. Don't be hard on yourself if you don't get it right every time. The important thing is that you're making an effort to improve. By enhancing our communication with emotional intelligence, we can create a deeper understanding and stronger bonds in our relationships. It's like finally having the picture on the puzzle box. With it, we can see where each piece fits, creating a clearer, more complete image. So let's take that picture in hand and start putting the pieces together. Emotional intelligence isn't just about understanding and managing emotions. It's also about building stronger relationships. The skills and understanding you gain from developing your emotional intelligence can lead to more meaningful connections and a stronger emotional bond. Let's delve into how this works. One of the key ways emotional intelligence strengthens relationships is by fostering deeper understanding. When we are in tune with our own emotions and those of others, we can better understand what drives us, what makes us happy, what upsets us, and how we respond to different situations. This understanding enables us to navigate our relationships with more empathy, patience, and compassion. Another way emotional intelligence fortifies relationships is by promoting effective communication. When we are emotionally intelligent, we are better equipped to express our own feelings and needs and to understand and respond to those of others. We can listen without judgment, speak without offending, and convey our thoughts and feelings in a way that builds understanding and trust. Emotional intelligence also helps us manage conflict more effectively. When disagreements arise, as they inevitably will in any relationship, emotional intelligence enables us to keep our emotions in check, to listen and understand the other person's perspective, and to find a resolution that respects and satisfies both parties. This ability to manage conflict constructively can prevent minor disagreements from escalating into major rifts and can even strengthen the relationship by demonstrating mutual respect and understanding. Finally, emotional intelligence fosters resilience in relationships. When we are emotionally intelligent, we are better able to cope with the ups and downs that come with any relationship. We can give and receive support, understand and manage our emotions, and strive to maintain a positive outlook. This resilience can help our relationships weather the storms and emerge stronger on the other side. So how can you cultivate emotional intelligence in your relationships? Start by practicing the components of emotional intelligence in your everyday interactions. Strive to be more self-aware and self-regulating. Work to understand and empathize with others and seek to improve your social skills. Over time, these efforts can build trust and intimacy and can strengthen the emotional bond in your relationships. Remember, emotional intelligence is not a destination, but a journey. It's not about being perfect, but about striving to understand and manage our emotions and those of others. It's about building stronger, healthier, and more fulfilling relationships. And it's a journey that's well worth the effort. So keep practicing, keep learning, keep growing. And as you do, you'll find that your relationships become more satisfying, more resilient, and more rewarding. You'll find that you're not just surviving in your relationships, but thriving. With emotional intelligence, we lay the foundation for a stronger and more fulfilling relationship. Emotional intelligence is a journey, not a destination. As we've delved deeper into the elements of self-awareness, self-regulation, 
motivation, empathy, and social skills, we've seen how they intertwine and contribute to the strength and health of our relationships. It's clear that understanding your partner, managing conflicts, and enhancing communication are not just useful skills, but essential ones in building meaningful connections. Emotional intelligence is the compass that guides us to a stronger emotional bond, to more satisfying personal growth, and ultimately, to better relationships. So here's a challenge for you. Continue nurturing these skills. Keep practicing empathy, active listening, and open communication. Keep striving for self-awareness and self-regulation. Remember, these aren't just skills for your relationships, they're skills for life. Remember, the journey of emotional intelligence is one of self-discovery, understanding, and ultimately, better relationships. We hope you found this session on emotional intelligence insightful. It's fascinating, isn't it? How understanding and managing our own emotions and those of others can make such a difference in our personal relationships. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. Have you ever noticed a time when your emotional intelligence made a difference in your relationship? Or maybe a time when you wish you had responded differently? Share your stories in the comments below. We learn so much from each other's experiences. And if you're interested in growing your emotional intelligence and personal development skills even further, consider subscribing. We have a lot more content lined up that you won't want to miss. Together, we can navigate this journey of self-discovery and growth building stronger, healthier relationships along the way. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, emotional intelligence is a skill that can be honed, so keep practicing and continue your journey of self-discovery.